this is awesome. Video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my vacation vlog. This is future me um, doing a quick intro just because some of the footage I filmed did not turn out good because of the camera that I bought, um, which was kind of a bummer. So I am just gonna share this quick vacation vlog with you guys. I did ask on Instagram if y'all were still interested in seeing it. I know it's been like over a week since we got back. Um, and a lot of you said yes. So I hope you enjoyed this quick Sunday vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Yep, the paperwork is inside on the counter. Mom, look at the fish. Dang, this is cool. Look at the well. I see, baby. So here I'm just giving you a quick little tour of the little cabin that we rented. So this cabin for Friday night and Saturday night, um, so just the two days, it was $466. Now I believe it just really depends on the time of year that you go, um, but it really wasn't too bad, especially with the fact that it was right on the water, has a dock, um, and everything's pretty close by. So I really enjoyed staying here. And once we kind of got in, got everything sorted, it was a nice size. A lot of times we stay in like little places and sometimes they can just be a little crowded so this one was actually really nice and the fact that it had a full oven microwave sink and full refrigerator was great and now that we know how it's kind of set up we can plan for future vacations have made it this is a cute little place it doesn't smell like a little funky like kind of just old so I opened up the windows to kind of just air it out a bit um, but yeah it's cute and it's like literally right on the water too the water is right there it's pretty nuts you can see rolling in Caden are already fishing I'm gonna go ahead and start get every getting everything unloaded so if y'all saw my pack with me vlog where I packed up everything, having the, uh, oh man, I just jumbled my words, <laughs> having the containers to carry everything in was really, really nice. Highly, highly recommend doing this if you are planning a vacation. Being able to just carry these two containers in with everything was great. And then I just simply unloaded everything. And then when we left, we just put everything back in those containers so it was contained from the rain. And later on in the vlog, you will see that we drove home in a bad storm. It was awful. So thankfully we had the containers to keep all of our stuff dry. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun. I don't remember much from the night before. Just oh, yeah, you best believe we can get that little raft right here. Do what? This is awesome. I'm going in a boat. You're gonna put me in my in one. Are you allowed to just put like, any raft in the water, you think? 
It's not too bad. I'm excited. I feel like you're gonna get lost with your son. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Give her one to help. She can turn around and help you. Um, it's a cute place. It's really nice. I like that everything is super close by. We have like a little fire pit. All the water is nice. Um, or all the water is right up next to our little cabin. So we can do all of our fishing that we want, have a fire tonight, grill out, whatever we want to do, which is pretty cool. Um, the kitchen is super nice. I'm very impressed with the kitchen and the kitchen cabinets and the little faucet and stuff. They did a good job. Uh, I'm currently cooking a pizza for Dylan and I to have for a late lunch because we didn't eat because we were obviously driving here. Um, but we're going to eat and then my brother's going to look into kayak rentals and see how much it costs and how to get those so that way we can go hopefully for like a little spin down the little river which will be really fun i'm excited holy moly Whoa. baby these are awesome call d real quick They come right up here. This is freaking cool. <gasps> here, hold on. It's coming. Did you see that one? It just jumped up. Mm -hmm. So. All right. So we are getting ready to head out. I got my little clear fanny pack thing <laughs> so I can use this while we're out in the water and keep my phone safe and my little camera, even though the camera is waterproof. Um, I'm gonna let my phone keep charging though, but how cool. Why did you smell it? Does it smell funny? Oh, I like that. This was not part of the plan. <laughs> Stop! D. D. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. No way. Keep your hands on the line. I'm on it. D, 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 D. We're really close to the side over here on the lock. You know you were too close. After our little panic moment going through the tunnel in the boat, which by the way was a friend of ours, he actually let us borrow it while we were there, which was super sweet of him to do that. Um, and then his girlfriend actually swam through the tunnels here at the spring, which is just incredible to me. I just thought that she was so brave to do that. Hey y'all, so it is a super gloomy day today. Gloomy, rainy, thunderstorms rolling in which really sucks, but we're gonna make the best out of it. Um, we actually went to Walmart this morning and got a few floaties and a face mask and stuff because the springs that we go down to, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I filmed a little bit of that yesterday and I probably already included that in this video, but it's, you have to see it like with the snorkel mask on and stuff. So we went and got um, some for the kids because Dylan and I brought ours. We just forgot the kids in the pool at the house so we got theirs and then got a big float for them to play on um what else do we have to get 
What else did we Water go for? Shoes. Water shoes. Water shoes. Because the um, the bottom of the like spring is like full of rocks and like sticks and stuff, and it doesn't hurt your feet, but. It can just, like, you can stub your toe <laughs> pretty easy. So we all got water shoes to wear, which will be great for the summer anyway. We'll need those every time we go to, like, a spring like this. But it has been a great trip. Um, now that we've, like, been here for the night, I love our little cabin. It's, like, perfect size for a quick stay. Um, the fact that we're right here by the water, too, is so nice. Like, we're, we're definitely going to, next time we come, we'll come a lot more prepared now that we know what it looks like. But it's perfect I love it I like a more like down home style place like this so yeah and all the people here seem so nice everyone who drives by on the boats is waving and just like last night we were at the spring and everyone kept like docking up to our boats and we were all just hanging out having a good time it was it's really fun um the spring is cold though holy moly I guess I underestimated how cold the water would be <laughs> it's pretty cold but it has been really fun are y'all having a good time too yeah. Um, oh, and top it off, y'all hear that thunder? Um, Walmart had a Dunkin' Donuts, so <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I did bring my uh, coffee pot, but the creamer that I got is not good, so this is definitely hitting the spot right now. <sighs> but now we're just waiting on the thunderstorm to pass so we can get it back out in the water and have a good day. So the next day we ended up going back and of course we had our snorkels this time. We had water shoes, which was great. So it like kind of helped protect our feet. Um, on this day, actually, the water was a little bit more murky than normal, but we still had a great time. We just swam around, went to this like the little spring again with the hole in the cave. And this time Dylan checked it out and he <laughs> didn't want to go through it either. I was a little too scared to swim through it too. So who knows? We might try it next time we come now that we're kind of like a little bit more familiar with the place. But we'll definitely have to get like better snorkels and stuff in order to do that. fun time um, unfortunately the weather did not um, cooperate with us very well it was on and off raining it would be hurricane weather one second and then it would be beautiful blue skies sunshine and just a perfect day so it was just hot and cold all day long it was crazy um, but we we ended up cutting our trip a little short we left Saturday night just because of the weather but we still made the best out of it and we really enjoyed it and the place that we were at I wanted to tell you guys because I, we stayed at the Seven Sisters campground, but um, we were at the Chaskawiska River, and this is a five mile long river that is in southwestern Citrus County, Florida. So definitely look it up. And we've always went to like Homosassa, but this is the first time we ever went there. And it was really, what I loved about it is the fact that the kids could reach, it was like waist high deep water in most of the areas. There were some deep areas, obviously, but I like that it was shallow, so that was cool. And the water was clear. Well, kind of. So since it had been raining on and off, the water was like a little murky. And uh, the more people that came to the spring during the day, the more water, you know, and like debris and stuff was kind of kicked up from the bottom, like all the algae and dirt and stuff. But overall, beautiful place. You definitely gotta check it out. And what's really cool is 
the campground that we stayed at, they actually allow your pets to come. I think it's like, I think they have a limit, obviously, um, so you have to check it out. But I think that was cool to mention just because I know a lot of you are pet lovers like myself. And next time we go, we definitely want to bring our dogs with us just so that way we don't have to hire a dog sitter and it'll be fun to kind of have like the whole family with us. So yeah, um, but that's it for this video. Sorry my footage was a little bad. <laughs> Um, I do plan on getting a better camera and I would love your suggestions for that if you guys um, have any ideas for a good action camera that's waterproof, has good audio, that is durable because the last go, I've had a GoPro before and it actually broke within like a couple days of owning it and I, I was so bummed. So if y'all have any suggestions for a good action camera or a good GoPro, like a new model, let me know so that way next time we go to the next spring we're planning on going to, um, I can get better footage because that's always fun to share and look back on and give you guys ideas for family vacations for you and your family if you ever come and visit Florida. So yeah, but thank you for being here. I hope you have an amazing rest of your Sunday with your family and friends and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye y'all.